Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're having a homebrew. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to the channel. And we've got a special one today because we've got a black West Coast IPA coming at 6.3%. And this is, um, is it an award winning? It's, well, basically it is. This is the Stockport Camera Homebrew Competition Winning IPA Category Beer. And this was brewed by my good friend Howard, who's from the Chiverton Tap Brew Club. And yes, I've had this beer. We had it at the brew club and it's a lovely beer. I just wanted to do this on the channel. Um, I just wanted to give it a bit of uh, the respect it needed and it deserves. And also Howard um, came second in the IPA class with a single hot IPA. And I can't remember what that hot was. Um, I can't remember, it could have been Equinot or El Dorado. I'm not too sure, it's one of them. So he came first and second. So what he wins is a brew day brewing his beer at first class ale in Stockport. And then that gets released. Um, and also his beer will be um, on cask, I think it is, at the Stockport Camera Beer Festival at Stockport County. I think that's around about June time. So um, this video is going out now. I'm sure Howard will be going to uh, first class ale to be brewing this beer pretty soon. Uh, so well done, fantastic, fantastic Howard. and. To be honest, um, Howard brings his beers to the uh, homebrew comps and he has some cracking beers. He had a stout and it was reminiscent to me, my taste, to uh, a Torside beer, New Mills Brewery, Torside Brewery. And it's like their stouts. It was it was really, really good. Um, so it, yeah, he does, he, he, he does some cracking beers. Um, so we've got the West Coast black IPA so you might be thinking some of you might be thinking what on earth is a black IPA okay so they're also known as Cascadian Dark Ale so what's a Cascadian Dark Ale so a Cascadian Dark Ale sometimes referred to as Black Eyed India Pale Ale which is this Cascadian Dark Ale is a top fermented beer using roasted malts or colour but also featuring strong hot bitterness and an infusion of hot flavour and aroma so it's the same thing so that's what the original were called so what is a black IPA just bear with me so I can get this so they're uh, basically American um, they're the American grapefruit flavours no they're American style beers and they bring bitterness uh, thanks to those grains that hot flavours present in new ways grapefruit juice becomes grapefruit marmalade pineapple tastes like grilled pineapple pine is more resinous um, black IPAs have fruity cacao a savoury depth and some sweeter maltness both like the black and the red IPAs are typically bitter at the end. That's what this uh, beer is going to bring. Um, black IPA, black IPAs use pale base malts for body and underlying flavour. Some caramel or carafa uh, and some dark malts like roasted malts. And then they use pretty much um, most of them. We use like the uh, the original um, classic hop Centennial Cascade. Maybe Mosaic and Equinot. And I've got a feeling it's Equinot. Equinot was his other beer. Um, so, yeah. So, Black India Pale Ale. In the UK, if you find a St. Austell uh, proper black, that's a good uh, an example. Um, it also, in uh, I think this was an American one, it's uh, Stones, yes, Sublimely Self-Righteous. And that's an original black IPA as well. So, yeah. So, if you've not had a black IPA, give them one to go. So I've got Howard's here. I've got his, uh, I'm gonna get in the glass, get the pour. Um, see, it's been in the fridge, so hopefully it should be okay when I'm opening this. Yeah, perfectly fine. Nothing, no problems there. There you go. Look at that color. Just look at that head forming. That's why it's a winning homebrew beer. It just looks apart. <sighs> lovely, lovely dark brown colour pouring that glass there. Lovely head forming. Aroma, I'm already getting it. There we go, look at that. <sighs> That's a homebrew. That's a homebrew. Look at that. 
nice creamy off tan head looks superb in the glass aroma classic you, you are getting that chocolate aroma but you're also getting this amazing fruit aroma tropical as well and you're getting a citrus and it comes to just comes together so well it's so 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 good that aroma um howard kindly sent me the recipe i'm not going to read out his full recipe um but what i will do is just give you a a bit of a hint of what's going on in here so with the hops the centennial for bittering um cascade was in there simcoe and amarillo all the way through and then he used uh, dry hops simcoe amarillo cascade <clears throat> malts he basically went with a pale malt carafa crystal rye and a chocolate malt so yeah and it's all come together to make a 6.3 percent homebrew award-winning beer the stockport camera uh, beer festival is going to have it on on show uh, along with other uh, beers from the homebrew competition uh, but this got the ipa category okay so we've had the aroma we've had the look you've heard what's in it let's get the taste oh cheers lovely medium body carbonation superb as well it's not over carbonated whatsoever and the first thing i'm getting is that really good roasty bitterness so it's not all about the hot bitterness in this the roast roasted malt the dark malts are bringing a bitterness as well and that fits perfectly on the tongue there's also like a very dark um roasted dark black coffee taste going on there as well and it moves into dark bitter chocolate and it comes round again and you're getting that it is like a grapefruit it's got the grapefruit flavors going on and then just underlying slightly tropical with that citrus note well, i don't have to say anything it's 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 one it's one it's uh it's one it's style at the homebrew comp that's because it's superb it really is you'd be more than happy paying for that honestly so yes so if you went into a bottle shop You'd be really chuffed if you got that you really really would that's fantastic well done howard really well done because that is a superb beer i'm gonna hopefully try that as well when first class ale and you because you'll be going there brew that beer and uh i look forward to tasting that as well okay so something different again you know another fantastic homebrew beer from my local uh homebrew club the chibberson tap uh brew club um i'll ask some of the chaps if uh if they want me to get a beer on here for them as well because i really enjoy tasting the beers because honestly fantastic group of uh, home brewers and all the beers are superb there's not there's never a beer you go i wouldn't buy that because all the beers you can feel that there's a lot gone into them and they're creating craft some fantastic beers it really is a it's a good group okay thanks for watching cheers and i'll see you on the next one I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating